can't necessarily tell if someone dropped off something or if that's just a little bag of shit. <laughs> Morning, morning. I actually have somebody on Facebook this morning. They're like, oh my God, I can't believe it's gonna be raining tomorrow. Vitamin D is my nutriment of life. And I'm going, one, drink milk. Two, it's still fucking July. We are not gonna have a torrential downpour that will end in gray clouds until kingdom come. <laughs> this, is, this is the same guy that grew up in Coos Bay too, which is like wet as fuck. You know, he's lived in the Pacific Northwest for 50 years, as he said in the comment. And I was like, he goes, this has been the wettest June and July in all of the, in all the time I've seen that stuff. And I'm like, dude, the weather balance is out. Just because you don't know what's going to happen in the future. September could be all 80 to 100 degrees and the summer could have been moved by a month. Yeah. <laughs> The weather doesn't adhere to what we call summer, especially now that things are getting more volatile. Because, yay, climate change. <laughs> I mean, we've already had a really weird warm summer. It was sort of like, um, where's the rain on the 4th of July? Where's right. the rain the whole week of the 4th of July? And then we had some, like, nice clouds. But the thing is, anybody who's longtime viewers realizes this is nice weather. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the fact that I've been walking in the morning in tank tops and a short and sandals for the better part of, I mean, I've gone in, I've been a little pussy and worn pants one day, but <laughs> it gets to the point where I'm just like, oh, it's a little chilly in the morning. And then, like, I get home and I'm like, oh, God, it's hot. Like, it's so hot in the apartment. Like this morning, I was like, maybe I should put some clothes on. It's a little chilly this morning. <laughs> That's why it's making noise. Yeah. Yes, I've conf we've confirmed it. I'm just gonna do it. As is, I'm just gonna... Because it's like, I don't know where any of the Pokestops are, so I can't even swing by them and have Aaron pick up Pokestop stuff like on the way home from the gym or something. I don't know where any of them are at. I mean, I know where they're at from what Aaron says, but I... Don't know where they're all at. And I have that brain where I'm just going to memorize where they're at and I'll swing by. It'd be nice if I could maybe alter the path home and be like, hey, Aaron, here, we're going to hit up a couple of these. It's only going to add like 30 seconds to our drive home. Yeah. But I'm, you're going to be able to hit up three poke stops. So I'm just going to head over to the nature park later today after I get things squared away with the vlogs and stuff. And like I said, just pop a lucky egg as soon as you got one. If you can manage it, don't get any zoo bats. Just ignore them. Why? They are a uh, drain on resources. <laughs> they are really hard to catch for me, for me at least. If I can catch them pretty easy, I'm just gonna vendor them. You yeah. know me. <laughs> I will pick up the I will pick up the most random crap in WoW and just vendor it. Yeah. That's why I got that vendoring app or app. Oh, <coughs> the internet is ruining me. I got add that add-on. That's why I got that vendoring add-on so that it would just vendor all the greys that I would pick up. Because in fucking Warlords, you're looking at like greys that are worth 50 silver and they stacked to like 200. I'm like, whatever, all right. Well, 50 silver, that's nothing. Yeah, well, when you're picking up 200 of them, that's 100 fucking gold. <laughs> you know, you just gotta do some simple math there. And who's gonna scoff at 100 gold for one bag slot? You can't get that in gear. <laughs> Although I would run the old um, raids and sell all that stuff. But, so, we're looking at, like, see, Willie said, well, if you really don't want to go the linebacker route, you're gonna have to bulk up some, and I'm like, bulking up is not a problem. I live in America, and I'm on food stamps. I can bulk up. No problem. I know he wants me to, like, bulk up muscle-wise, which yeah. I can do, no problem. I can do it in the chest, even. I just can't right now. I mean, at least she got off the bike. I figured, I was like, man, a lady of, and to an extent, this also says, like, the uh, respect I have, a, a lady of that caliber, which is a little ageist. Yeah. But it's still, like, in that way, the way I was, the way I was saying the lady of that caliber is she's old enough and should know better. Yeah. And obviously she is. She's walking the bike. She got over to the, like, the, the, cent the circle area, got off her bike, and is now walking it across, and see, she's getting back on. <clears throat> do we need to back up? Yeah. Alright. Uh, do you know what's strong against water types? Fire? No, electricity. That's right. There is like a level of knowledge that I don't do in Pokemon. That I haven't learned all over time. I thought you had to be at that shelter. 
area here. And it still says I'm next to the thing up there. Well, walk down and then come back. I think after this much time of playing Ingress, they know how to reset its location. <laughs> GPS is not that strong, especially where right here, because we still have the ability where we... Our signal is still really wonky around here, and I think it might be the max lines. It shouldn't be, but if we have a weak enough signal from various towers, these... Can you guys see them? Yeah. We're right along here. It's what the powers the max. So there's a decent amount of current running through them, and they're on both sides, plus we have a power, we have over above ground power lines on the other side of the tracks. So there's a little bit of EMI happening. I'm not, so that's probably why. Oh, it's safe. I clicked the wrong thing. Wrong Pokemon. Oh. Too high level. I'm not going to be able to do anything. Oh, because it's the gym is only level one, but the Tentacruel is a beast of, is a monster? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> what color is the gym? Blue. Right, you were just doing the training at it, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, aren't you blue? Hopefully there's a tutorial and all that stuff once you get to a gym. To an extent. It's not a very good tutorial. Okay. But I remember you can't do gym stuff until like 20, until 5, right? Yeah, 5. So I'm not going to worry about that. <clears throat> I'm not going to worry about researching any of that stuff until I'm at least level 5. Until I'm level five. Yeah. I mean, I still got to download the dumb thing and then set everything up and go through the motions and hit the first poke stop. Right, is there, is it like ingress where it puts a portal down where you're at or do you actually have to go to the so nearest? You may actually have to go. Where's the closest one? Um, because I looked at your phone and there's no Poke Stop in the 7-Eleven area. Right. It's either here or. Oh <gasps> no! I remember there's one down at the corner of the 153rd Milliken. Yeah. Beaverton. It's the Beaverton Business Center. Yeah. Because I was like, oh yeah, that was a new. Po it was because it was a new portal location, like hmm. two or three months after. It was, there was like two portals there or something. Anyways, this train's coming. You want to say anything? I got nothing. Mm. So you guys can hate and like do stuff in comments. I'm going Team Instinct because I'm a hipster. That's yellow, right? I guess. Yellow or green. We're still like up in the... <laughs> it, up it's in the yellow. Okay. It's not even like highlighter yellow. It's... There's also neon green that looks exactly yellow to me. Because I know there's highlighter green, which looks like grass, but then there's also that neon green, which is like, l people call it lemon green, and I'm just like, stop! Lemon green? <laughs> and, I knew the, and I do know that the mac and cheese color is mostly yellow, but if I can stare at it long enough, I can notice the flecks of orange. But anyways. Bye. Bye. Single train, go this way. Or something.